We're excited to see what you guys have to show us today. You ready to give us a little tour? Let's do it. All right, let's go. I see you have the whole Carriel crew here to stage today. We want to take everyone through this beautiful home and show you everything it has to offer. Welcome to the American Dream TV. This is a real show, not a reality show, based on lifestyle, culture, and real estate, where we go to your city across the country. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we have a fantastic episode lined up for you, and we're gonna get it started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. These are stories for you and by you. Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Julie DeRoche. Welcome to the American Dream TV. Today we are at Seavers Festival, the place to go for fun in the fall in Minnesota. After that, we're gonna take you to an exclusive country club neighborhood in Eden Prairie called Bear Path to feature one of our newest listings. While there, we're gonna meet up with our stager, Carrie, from Carrie L Staging, and she's gonna work her magic in that home with their staging. But before we do all this fall fun, we're gonna take you to our new building in Edina and show you how things are coming along. All right, we're back at the Edina build. Just wanted to give everybody a little bit of an update. Come on in. So front entry, they started putting the wood treads on. That's gonna look awesome. This is gonna have a nice uh, railing on here, of course. Into the great room, vaulted, built-in speakers, of course, everywhere. Three-quarter bath. So that if ever the office does need to be used as a bedroom, we've got a bathroom for that. Here's that pantry. Again, some of the cabinets are installed, but they're not all in yet. A little dark in there still. We always do finish our garages, so it'll be fully taped, painted, quartz floors, heated, all that kind of jazz will be done. Right off the kitchen, dining room, and then out to what is a screen porch, but we're gonna have easy screens, so that'll close it in in the winter and overly hot days. And we did pop a fireplace out here so that you can really warm this up in the winter. And then it really is a nice sized lot for Edina. Of course, the owner's suite is vaulted. Good view in the backyard. And then into the back. Shower, tub. Looks like they started on the tile around the shower here, so that's great. This is gonna have a big slab of you know, quartz on top of it and the glass walls, that'll be, dumb. that'll be really nice. At lower level, right off the front entry again. It's gonna be a little dark down here again. So you come down into a nice little landing area, mechanical room under the stairs. This will be like a little theater set up, so we got a snack bar here, room for about six stools overlooking the theater family room area. And then back here, just a bedroom and a bathroom. And the bathroom is connected to the bedroom and the family room and they're obviously still working on that. So, there you have it. All right, that does it for today. We'll check back in in a little while. Yeah, I'm getting excited, but what I'm really excited about right now is getting the VIP tour from Nicola, the owner of Seavers Farm Festival. I think I hear it coming right now. There she is. Hi, Julie, good to see you. Hi, Daniel, good to see you as well. Good to see you. My husband, Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice man. to meet you. We're excited to see what you guys have to show us today. You ready to give us a little tour? Let's do it. All right, let's go. What you see here when you walk into the festival is our pumpkin patch. So we have pumpkins, gourds, squash, apples from our apple orchard, honey, of course. My husband actually is a beekeeper. And so everything you see here is from the farm, so. So this area here is to come buy some pumpkins and stuff like that basically is what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's right. This is where people will come in first and they'll walk through the pumpkins. A lot of people get pumpkin or decorative corn on their way out, but we load this up every single weekend. We have the patch on our farm and we go in and we obviously hand harvest them and then we bring them out here for people to enjoy. Some of these are massive. Yes, yeah, so we have some giants out here for sure. 
the last 25 years, we've added a lot of different attractions here. We're always trying to add something new to bring people back for their tradition. Um, so you'll see, oh, we've got Julie here on the on the jumping pillow. She's looking like an expert. Oh boy. She must have been a gymnast in a, pro in a previous <laughs> life or in her younger self. Yeah, that's my wife right there. That's wonderful. <laughs> so behind us, you'll see we have a lot of food vendors. We have an artisan market with different vendors that come every weekend. We've got magic shows and wildlife shows. We've got straw bale maze. Uh, we've got a corn pit. And all of these ideas really have been, you know, have stemmed from things that we've done as children on the farm. So it's really quite fun. All right, I heard something about a corn pit. Oh, let's go check that out. I want to see that yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So behind me is actually the second corn pit. This is the extreme corn pit with all the different play structures. Um, and what, again, we didn't realize, we were kind of thinking of kids, but the adults love it just as much, which she looks <laughs> like she's having fun. She's right? getting a good leg workout, she that's is, for sure. She is, yes. It's oddly therapeutic, but a lot harder to walk in than you would think. I can imagine. All right, I have never done a zip line. I'm pretty excited about this. Tell me a little more about this. So these are really fun. These actually were inspired by a park that I went to in my childhood in Eden Prairie, Starring Lake Park. They had a zip line like this. They have since taken it down, probably, you know, it was not monitored like it is here by staff. Um, but it is such a vivid childhood memory. And so I said to my brother-in-law, can you build it? And he said, yes, yes I can. So my brother-in-law built these um, and I think we should give it a go. I'm up for it. Maybe Julie and I can do a little race. Let's do it. All right, I like the sound I of like that. I like the competition. Let's go. Always trying to find answers to my questions. I never get too far. Because I'm on the run. So here we are at Minnesota's original and largest corn maze. You can see here some of our aerial photographs that we've done over the seasons. These are all of our different maze designs and we change it every single year. That is absolutely amazing. I can't believe how intricate that is. All right, let's get in there. Show let's it do it. You. Let's do it. So as I said back there, this is way more intricate than I thought. So tell me how you guys even remotely start to do this. Well, it's simpler and I suppose maybe more complicated than most people think. So we start out at our kitchen table at the farm to brainstorm ideas for the theme. Uh, now we look to the fifth generation for their inspiration and what they're interested in. But we plant this cornfield basically into a big grid. So we like just, exactly, yep. So we plant, a typical cornfield is only planted one direction, but this is planted both horizontally and vertically. So if you were to look at it from the air, it's gonna look like a piece of graph paper. Okay. Then we put our maze design onto a piece of graph paper, grow everything until it's about, oh, I don't know, I'd say 18 inches high. And then we come through with garden hose and hoe it out by hand. So what do they actually do with the corn? I'm assuming this still gets used. We do, we still harvest it. So our yield is obviously a little bit different than a traditional cornfield, but we do, if you came out here the beginning of November after our season, it's gonna be gone. So how, how do we know where we are right now? How do you actually ever get out of here? Well, we have a lot of staff to help you. I am your staff person today. I have to say I'm a little directionally challenged. So we're gonna get lost in here? So we'll find our way eventually. We've All got right. a couple hours till sunset. All right, let's see if we can figure out where we are and how we're gonna get out of here. Thank you so much for having us at Seavers Festivals. This was fabulous. Thanks for coming, we really appreciate it. Daniel, let's go head over to the Bear Path home and meet Carrie. All right, let's do it. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Julie. Hi, Carrie. Great to see you again. Great to see you. I see you have the whole Carrie L crew here to stage today. Yes. And it looks like you've already gotten a head start. We have. We've done the upstairs bedrooms. Okay. And we've also done the main floor here. Cool, so 
What's next? What's next is we're gonna go down to the lower level and see what we can do with that. It's a blank space, so it's an open canvas for us to create our own art. Cool, and I think you have some new things you wanna talk about. I do, we have something really exciting to talk about that I can't wait to show you. So let's go check it out. All right. Carrie, so you had previously staged the rest of the house. We're now in the lower level. We're focusing on staging the lower level. What is your vision for this family room down here? Well, I think what we want to do with this lower level is just to warm up the space. When a space is empty, you don't get any feeling off of it. So really you need the feeling of it with the furniture in it. So we're just gonna help warm up this room and make it feel inviting like you wanna live here. Yeah. So your team's gonna work on getting everything down here, getting everything in. Yes. We're gonna let them do their magic and come back and see how it looks when it's done. Can't wait. All right, sounds good. So Carrie, we're up in one of the uh, secondary bedrooms upstairs. Yes. And originally, uh, this was just a bed in this room. So there was no bedding on it. And right. we wanted to do something to spice this room up pretty much. Yes, to make it feel more homey. Yes. To make it feel like you want to jump into this bed at night. Right, yes. So what have you done here? So what we did was there's pretty much just a mattress pad on there. So what we did is we added the bedding. We added several different layers of pillows, layers here, and that helps give dimension not only when you're in the space, but it also helps when you're online looking at it. So looking online is very, very important because that's the first showing. Yep. The second showing is when they're in the space and how they feel about the room. The third is the most important. It's when they leave. How did they feel about it? What does their mind remember? Right, okay. I am noticing that it still feels a little unfinished. Yes. I think we're missing something on the lamps. We're missing the lampshades. Okay. The lampshades, one of the biggest things in staging is how many lampshades we go through. It's storage, it's breakage, cold winters, we'll snap them in the truck very easily. So it's a constant problem in our world for lampshades, but also in homeowners world because they can't wash their lampshades, right? Well, we created or we created a lampshade that you can wash, you can dry, oh and you can just pop them on. So it's pretty oh. simple, I'll show you how it's done. So you can use any lamp that you choose okay. to use. You could get it from anywhere and then you can get the light bulb in. So all we do is we have two separate rings. Okay. And we just kind of get those ready. And it's pretty simple, much simpler than throwing away lampshades. So you just kind of pop it on. So it doesn't take much effort to get it there and you can kind of pull it pretty tight. Yep. And then you get this in there and just Drop it on down, and there you go. That is so cool. And if there's any like little wrinkles, just a nice wrinkle releaser, yep. just a quick spray, does the trick like that. And there's your lamp. Looks like they're done, and it looks like a totally different room. Right, it feels lighter, brighter, more comfy. Yeah, it was kind of dark in here without the furniture, without the added lights, and it just looks completely different. Yes, it all gave it some dimension. Yeah. It made it feel like a home versus just a house. So it does add a lot of comfort. And a lot of warmth. Like I walk in and I just like, I just want to like lay on that couch and relax and watch some TV, put the fire on. Yes, exactly. And that's the point of it. That's what you want people to feel like when they walk in to a home after it's staged. You want them to feel like, I want to be here. You don't want them to walk in where there's no connection to the home at all because it's blank because there's nothing in it, because they don't feel the connection. People feel connection by their surroundings. Yes, we always tell people it is an emotional decision. Absolutely. So when someone walks into a house and they emotionally feel like they belong there, like they could see themselves living there, that's what's going to get them to buy it. Sometimes over price, over yep. stuff in it, you know, features, it, it's the feeling they get. I can always tell when someone walks into a house, that first feeling they get yep. when we walk through it, yep. if they love it or they don't. Want to see this room change in 10 seconds? I would love to see that happen. All right. Wow. Pretty amazing, right? Yes, those subtle changes really made a difference. Yeah, you can change it just like that.
Carrie, that was really great. I think the viewers really enjoyed walking through the house, seeing the whole staging process, seeing your lampshade line, and seeing the House of Carriel furniture. Yes, I was so excited to present that today. And it was such a pleasure staging this beautiful home. Well, you always do a great job. So thank you so much. So great to oh, see you. Always love working with you too. So great to see you. Now that Carriel has staged the house, we want to take everyone through this beautiful home on Bear Path Trail in Eaton Prairie and show you everything it has to offer. It is located in Bear Path Golf and Country Club, one of the most desirable private country clubs in Minnesota. The golf course was designed by Jack Nicholas, and it's an award-winning golf course. And the house itself is almost 7,000 square feet, five bedrooms, eight bathrooms, three-car garage, built in 2001, and this is some high-end construction. It's got pretty much everything anyone would ever want. It's got the Sub-Zero appliances, Pella windows, natural real oak floors, high end in my opinion, and loving it. Yeah, it's a really beautiful home and I think you guys are gonna love it. Well, since we're already in the kitchen, why don't we start here? I love this large center island and it's a little different shape. It's, or it's rectangle, but it's not a complete rectangle. I love how they put the scalloping edges in it. Um, just the detail throughout the kitchen really stands out. Yeah, they even did the built-in spice racks on each side of the cooktop. They did all dovetail drawers. Uh, like I said, Sub-Zero refrigerator, but then they even went as far as to put in the Viking range, which I know is one of your favorites. I love a, a Viking range, a big range. Um, I love that it has the griddle on it. Really fun, you can cook pancakes in the morning, burgers at night, just really a fun thing to have in the kitchen. Right off the kitchen, we have this really beautiful hearth room, an informal dining area, and one of the best features about this home is all the windows overlooking the golf course. It's really a beautiful view when you're sitting in the kitchen, hearth room, dining area, everything's looking out to that golf course. I love this custom fireplace. I mean, this mantle is, this is a work of art. This deck is a really great size. You could really do a lot out here. Really, I mean, this is a nice big table. There's also additional room where you could have a lounge area out here. And they've got the gas line built in, so you can put your grill over there and never run out of propane in the middle of cooking dinner. And then check out that. Like I said, you really don't see any houses from here. No. And you can kind of see a rooftop over there, but that's it. And this is just, I mean, what a wonderful view. I could sit out here in the morning, sip some coffee, yep. look out at that view. I don't know that it gets much better than this, that's for sure. One of the other features I love of this home is that there's two living areas on the main level. You have the hearth room that's over off the kitchen, and then you have this formal living room that is just a really great cozy place to hang out. It is really beautiful. I love the fireplace detail again. They brought in the same high-end cabinets, brought the hardwood floors through. I noticed they did some built-in speakers, and I love this wall. Like just think about what you can do with that with different books. I love that they put the ladder in to get to the top and make dusting a little easier. Yeah, this is really a beautiful focal point of the room. Wow, the built-ins in this home are amazing. We are now in the library and they really went all out with the woodwork in this home. They really did. They did everything perfect in this place. I noticed there's built-in speakers again in here and <laughs> I, I love the walls. Right away it makes me think of Elvis's blue suede shoes. They're blue suede walls. It's a little different, but I really love it. It's so comfortable in here. Yeah, and it's located right off the entrance. Great place to have an office. You have a powder room right outside of here. There's really a lot on this main floor to offer. I love that there's double doors to this owner's suite. 
and then goes right out onto this huge deck overlooking the entire backyard. Check out that view. Yeah, this is like a huge master and the view, like look at all the windows. This is like a separate sitting area. So you have like separate, almost two rooms within the same room. It's, where'd he go? Where, Daniel? You know how much I love the tubs? I had to sneak away and show you the tub. I should have figured this is where you'd be. Yeah, there's a back way in through the laundry. It's awesome. Well, now that we're in here, this is a beautiful bathroom. I love all the marble tile. You have marble subway tile. The shower is all custom tiled, again, in marble. You've got double vanities, which we love. I love that they're completely separated. Oh yes, me too. Private commode, heated towel bar, speakers, in-floor heat, and again, it's right off the laundry room, which I absolutely love. It's so convenient for life to be able to have the laundry room connected to the bath, the bedroom, and then also the hallway for the kids' rooms, but I, I do love when the um, laundry is connected to the rooms. I do too. It lets you sleep while I sneak out in the morning. That's true, yes. Two ways in, two ways out. I love thing. it. Julie, we really do have an amazing life. I can't believe how much fun I've had today. We checked out Seavers, where there's truly something for every season. Then we look at this beautiful house here on the golf course in Eden Prairie, built by L. Kramer. Wonderful day, in my opinion. Got to see Carrie L. staging at work, their process of staging rooms. Got to see the introduction to her new furniture and accessory line, House of Carrie L. That's gonna be such a success. I think that's about it for today. Thank you again for joining us on another episode of the American Dream TV. We have the DeRoche's latest listings right here with us. Let's take a look. Two Wilcoxon Drive, located in Hudson, Wisconsin, is just 20 minutes from downtown St. Paul. This exceptional three-bedroom, three-bath, custom-built home offers luxurious finishes throughout. One-level living at its finest. Hickory hardwood floors, gourmet kitchen with central vac, hickory inlaid cabinets, and huge pantry. Sure to be your favorite spot is the main level living room, saturated with sunlight coming from floor to ceiling Anderson windows surrounding the fireplace. Attached to the living room is the formal dining room, showcasing Anderson dual doors that expand the gathering space out to the maintenance-free deck overlooking frequent wildlife in the backyard. This property is situated on a spacious two plus acres providing an abundance of space for all your entertaining and everyday living needs. 5932 Idlewood Road, located in Mound, is a remarkable five bedroom, five bath, two story model home, only one block from Lake Minnetonka. This home exudes style and class, from the gorgeous hardwood floors, amazing nine foot ceilings that span the main level, to the crisp white enameled millwork and bronze hardwood throughout the home. Top of the line appliances in Gourmet Kitchen, beautiful living room boasts gas fireplace accented with floor to ceiling tile. Impressive upper level includes spacious primary suite. Lower level is a perfect place to entertain with wet bar and theater room. Relax on the expansive deck and take in the impressive private wooded backyard. Fabulous mound dock system with slip rental available. Steps from several different bays on Lake Minnetonka, parks, restaurants, charming downtown mound, plus access to the popular Dakota Rail Trail. This four bedroom, four bath home at 6626 Wildflower Drive in Cottage Grove is located 10 miles south of St. Paul and home to the beloved annual Strawberry Festival. This beautiful two story home offers wonderful features throughout, situated on a large lot close to all the amenities you'll need. Beautiful main level family room is generously sized with an oversized pictured window, allowing an abundance of natural light to pour in and providing gorgeous views of the backyard. Lower level walkout recreation room is a great space to entertain inside and out. Sit out on the large maintenance free double deck to enjoy the lush backyard with a line of greenery providing extra privacy. 
so much fun things to do in the Cottage Grove area. If you like seeing a movie, take a short drive to one of the few drive-in theaters in the Twin Cities area, Cottage View Drive-In. Or maybe you want to explore one of the many regional parks like Raven Regional Park. Or you feel like kayaking or canoeing in the Mississippi River, which is located just minutes away. If you love city living, 929 Portland Avenue, Unit 1208, located in downtown Minneapolis, is the place for you. This modern one-bedroom, one-bath condominium features remarkable on-site amenities that includes professional management, 24-hour control and secured access to building, secure and heated underground parking, massive workout room with hot tub and spa to relax in after a hard day, business media center, amazing party room, patio access with fireplace, grills, organic herb garden, and stunning panoramic views walking distance to the U.S. Bank Stadium and the Armory. If you feel like catching a game or maybe you want to see a concert, hungry? Well, you're in luck. You are surrounded by amazing local restaurants, bakeries, and coffee shops. This condominium really offers all living and entertaining needs, plus so much more. One zero zero one Kilburn Street, located in the historic St. Paul neighborhood, is a stunning four-bedroom, two-bath, 1900-style home that offers an abundance of character throughout. Great updates all throughout the home while maintaining the original charm. Wonderful first impression upon entering. The beautiful, spacious, enclosed porch with bench that offers tons of storage, tons of space for built-in lockers, hooks, cabinets, plus more. Open main level living room spaces provide a fantastic layout to entertain. Beautiful original maple hardwood floors and architectural details throughout the home. Fully fenced in yard features, expansive two-tiered deck and patio which are excellent for outdoor lounging and entertaining. Feel like getting out and exploring? This home is located super close to Como Park, Como Lakeside and Pavilion, and Como Zoo and Conservatory. Plus a variety of amazing local restaurants like Thai Garden, Moscow on the Hill, Red Cow, and Handsome Hog. 1321 Lake Drive West, Unit 324, is a two-bedroom, two-bath condominium located in Chanhassen, which was just voted one of the best places to live in the country by Money Magazine. You will absolutely love the open floor plan. Great views, amazing location of this charming condominium. Open and spacious eating kitchen offers great counter space to cook and prep all your gourmet meals. Impressive amenities located on site include a wonderful workout room, huge outdoor play area, massive community party room with expansive patio that offers gas grills plus clubhouse that features indoor heated pool and hot tub to relax in. Also included with the unit is underground heated parking space and storage. Some of the popular spots for locals and tourists include of course the late Prince's Studio and Home Paisley Park which has been transformed into a museum honoring the legendary artist. Other landmarks include the Chanhassen Dinner Theater, Lake Minnetonka, and the nearby Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. I hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV where we featured the best in lifestyle, culture, and real estate. Cheers to your American Dream.